Hello, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing a video on Purposeful Daughters, Purposeful Life Planner. A few of you have messaged me on Instagram and asked to see inside of this, this beautiful planner. So I am more than happy to do this video for you. And I'm also going to briefly show you inside of my list book because a few of you have asked me to do that also. If you have any questions at all, please just comment and I will answer them. And I will also leave links down below in the description box if you want to get your hands on either of these beautiful notebooks and planners so let's get into it okay so this is the purposeful life planner by purposeful daughters i found them on instagram and i am so glad i did the planner is absolutely gorgeous you can see for yourself it has this beautiful gold detail which reflects the light so stunning and it has this gold hardware in each of the corners and also on the rings and that is on the front and the back as well and then i just love this pattern it's the gold and dusky pink marble effect and this is just a little bit of me this is like totally when i saw this i was like i need this planner it also comes in a beautiful floral print um but i just wanted this particular style and then i've just got here my zebra mild liners and i love to use these in this planner the paper is thick so you don't need to use that you can use regular highlighters but i just love the look of the mild liners and then the planner comes in a gorgeous box and inside the box you also get this gold pen which writes in black ink and i really love using this pen it writes so smoothly and it's not too thick and i was really happy to get this i didn't realize it came with this so yeah i was happy about that and the pen also just has the logo of purposeful daughters on there and it says living a purposeful life just to remind you that you are loved by god and that your life should be purposeful so let's look inside so inside you get a front pocket and i've just stuck my post-it notes in here and um, so they're just handy if i need them and then your front cover with your name and your details and then i absolutely loved reading this so usually in planners i ignore these kind of sections but because this was a christian planner i did take the time to actually read all of this and i just thought it was such a wonderful way to start your year so then after that you get to reflect on your previous year and what I love about this planner as well is that it is full of scripture. So throughout the planner, you get little snippets of scripture. And then here you just get a 2021 at a glance and the months, which you can write down whatever you want in. I've written down specific um, events that are coming up so that I can plan videos around what's happening because I'm using this planner mainly for my YouTube and social media. So then it has a section for your vision board and for a verse for this year. So I've chosen Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't rely on your own intelligence. Know him in all your paths and he will keep your ways straight. And that's NLT. And I chose this verse because I know that I will need to trust in the Lord and be able to cast all of my cares onto him this year. I want to stay straight on the path that God has for my life. So that's the reason that I chose this verse. And then I've just created my vision board here, which I'll not go into in great detail, but yeah, this is personal to me, but you can kind of get an idea for it. I decided photographs to make it more visual of how I want my year to be. And then the next section, I hope you don't mind, but I've covered over my goals with post-its just because they are quite personal to me and my family. Um, but you get a section here to really think out your goals. So then it gives you smart targets which help you achieve these goals. And then I've left some blanks so I can show you what a blank page looks like. But you just write out your goal, why you want to achieve that goal, when you want to accomplish it by and then steps that you need to take to achieve those goals and it gives you space to do up to four goals so on this page you're planning your yearly goals and then here you're planning it quarterly so what do you need to do between january and march to hit that goal which i just thought was amazing to kind of break it down like that it makes your goals into smaller chunks and then you can hit achieve them easier so i just thought that was a really good way to do it and then it's got prayer requests so you can write down all your prayer requests here and you can also go back and write down when they were answered a nice amount of pages for them and then you've got let the planning begin and she quotes proverbs 21 verse 5 here which says good planning and hard work lead to prosperity so you've got january here and it gives you another scripture and then a little bit of motivation for you and you can write down your thoughts here and your prayers here for that month and then again you've got your goals that you can list out here your four goals 
and you write down what you need to do and then an other goals and to-do list. So I've just got in here like things that I want to do in my personal life, things that I want to do in my spiritual life, my home and family life and my business and career. And then on the next page, I've just post-it noted at the top that this is the month so I can quickly turn to it. But I'm actually going to go to February just so it's a blank month um, because I have planned out my January. So you get a full calendar like this where you can just plan out everything that you want to do that month. And then you also get each day a breakdown like this, which I love i'm all about lists so what i per what i personally do is i write down here my to-do list and then on this side i write down everything that i've read that day and um, because i am trying to read through the bible in a year so i'll write down say i've read like genesis 1 to 2 and i've read hebrews 4 and i've read psalm 7 something like that and then i also you know if you've watched my channel before that i'm a big reader on christian books as well so i'll write down which chapters i've read of which book so i record all of my reading down here and that just helps me stay accountable and make sure that i'm doing my reading because i'm a big list person and then i've got my to-do list down here because usually i don't have more than um this amount of things to do because i've also got this list book which i got from amazon um which comes with a load of blank lists like this and I just write down my daily to do's on here and prioritise. So this kind of thing is for YouTube and Instagram. I'll write down film. Well, I'll show you an example. Let's go back um, to January. This is the kind of thing that I would write down. So here you can see that I have written down everything that I read that day and then here I've written down everything that I need to do. So if I need to film, I highlight it in green. If I need to edit, I highlight it in yellow. And when I'm uploading, I highlight it in orange. Um, and yeah, that's just the way that I have been planning my weeks. But you can use this however you want. That's what I love about this. It's totally flexible to each person. So you can just use this however you want to use it. And at the bottom, it's got a notes section. So you can put a scripture in here or a motivational quote. Or you can just reflect on your week, whatever you feel like doing. And every week has a quote at the top as well. And that just goes through. Each month is the same. You get your thoughts and your prayers section. You get your monthly and then you get your weekly spread. And also at the end of each month, you also get a monthly reflection where it asks you what went well this month? What challenges did you face? What obstacles did you overcome? What did you learn? And did you accomplish your goals for this month? Yes or no? What do you hope to improve on next month? So you can write that down and then you've got a full notes page as well where I, I'm going to use this just to take notes on anything um, throughout the particular month. So this will be month related. And then at the end of the year, you get a 2021 reflection page. So you can say one word to describe the year. What was the biggest challenge that you faced this year? What was your greatest lesson? Did you accomplish your goals? And what do you hope to improve on next year? And any other thoughts? They really make you look back at your year and then think, how can you set up better for the next year moving forward? And then you've again got the 2022 calendar and the at a glance. And then you've got loads and loads of note paper at the back here. So if you wanted to journal or if you were in a meeting or anything like that, you've got plenty of pages to write on. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.